Major tech players met in Taipei today to discuss 5G, the next generation of mobile communications technology. At the Taiwan 5G Commercialization Summit, MediaTek Chairman Tsai Ming-jie said that 5G could bring Taiwan a new wave of business opportunities. But industry players warn that Taiwan must start building its 5G infrastructure soon or else risk falling behind the curve. 2020 is seen as the start of the 5G epoch. Around the world, industry players are scrambling to prepare, and Taiwan's big names are no exception. The chairman of MediaTek and Pegatron joined others in the industry today at a summit on developing Taiwan's 5G networks. 5G can be defined with four key concepts, big bandwidth, high speeds, more connectivity, and low latency. With these characteristics, it will have a huge impact. It will not just increase speeds many-fold. It will also drive the development of lots of increasingly diverse applications. All sorts of products based on IoT and Amazon Speaker will be important smart devices used in the future. Tsai said that bringing 5G out of the lab and into commercial use was the focus of MediaTek's strategy for 2019. Taiwan might fall behind. Commercial application for 5G is slated to begin in Japan, South Korea, and across the strait in 2020. 5G will require base stations at 5 to 10 times the density of 4G. Pegatron's chairman warned that although 5G offers faster speeds and larger bandwidth, its infrastructure demands are greater than those of 4G. Tong pointed out that Taiwan was yet to open bids on any 5G infrastructure. He proposed that Taiwan adopt the approach of infrastructure sharing to ease the cost of rolling out 5G.